Please welcome trans advocate, author, professor, and co-chair of GLAD's Board of Directors, Jenny Boylan. Hi, everybody. Hi. Good evening. Hey, so here's a little story from Mother's Day. <clears throat> so there I was in the house in which I'd grown up coming out as transgender to my 85-year-old mother, an evangelical Christian, a Republican, a nice suburban lady who did needlepoint and drove a Lexus. She didn't know the difference between a transgender woman and the Trans-Siberian Railroad. I kind of had a feeling that my coming out as trans wasn't exactly gonna be the high point of her week. Quite frankly, I had a strong suspicion that she wasn't gonna wanna know me anymore. But when I started to cry in the middle of our talk, my little mother got up out of her chair, put her arms around me, and said, I would never turn my back on my child. I will always love you. She said, I will always love you. It doesn't matter to me if you're gay or lesbian or, well, whatever the hell this is. <laughs> The important thing is this, love will prevail. And I said, I said, but mom, won't it be embarrassing for you when everyone finds out I'm your daughter? And she said, well, quite frankly, yes. <laughs> but I will adjust. Later that night, as I headed for bed, she kissed me and she said, you know, you need to tell the story because I've always believed it's impossible to hate anyone whose story you know. Cool, right? My mother passed away five years ago at the age of 94, still Republican, still an evangelical Christian, and in her own quiet way, a transgender ally. I have been blessed to have many great allies in my life, but no one as important as the woman I'd like you to meet right now, my wife, Deirdre Finney Boylan. Can you stand up, Deanie? I love you, Deanie. <laughs> this summer, we will have been married for 27 years. 12 as husband and wife, 15 as wife and wife. <laughs> Didi, I love you with all my heart. Happy Mother's Day. By the way, where are the kids right now? <laughs> oh, okay. My mom told me that love would prevail if we told our stories. At GLAD, we followed that advice, sharing stories of LGBT people that accelerate acceptance. Last month, for example, we worked with Diane Sawyer and ABC as they put together that incredibly cool interview with Bruce Jenner, watched by over 20 million people. And to Bruce, can I just say, welcome to the fold, girlfriend. <laughs> Last year, I also had the opportunity to serve as consigliere to the brilliant storytellers who created Transparent, the show that... <laughs> the show that opened hearts and minds around the world. Working on that show enabled all of us at GLAAD to get to know two more of our favorite allies, Jeffrey Tambor and Judith Light. Through their artistry and imagination, they've shown the truth of the thing that my mother said to me, that it is impossible to hate anyone whose story you know. So will you please welcome the stars of Transparent, my friends, Jeffrey Tambor and Judith Light. Oh, 
thank you. Thank you so thank, much. Thank you. Uh, Jenny, I am uh, so grateful for your guidance and your help in introducing me to my new friend, Maura Pfefferman. And uh, Maura Pfefferman, the role, and especially Maura Pfefferman, the responsibility. Um, thank you.